Good morning everyone, welcome to day zero of the Snowdrop Tundra. I'm just gonna review the nap session that we did yesterday. And I don't know exactly what happened. I think it might have just capped it at some point. There may not be a session here. I don't really know what happened because I tried to hit the button. The colors didn't really show. Uh, following sleep data will be deleted. Let's see it. I think it might have been that second session that I kind of started because <laughs> I thought I was ending the other one. Anyway, we have made it to Snowdrop. Your sleep data has been adjusted to reflect the following factors. Maximum sleep time exceeded. All right, that's what happened. So I had a bit of a chat at uh, or in the Pokemon <laughs> sleep text channel in Nerthheart. And yeah, the 12 hours is the max. And so this nap session was just cut short. And that is very strange. It should have given me the doom doom, like the whole color disco, but it didn't. And that made me a little bit unsure about what was going on. But <laughs> there's a dosing type here. I was hoping for the slumbering. Uh, in this case, it would have been three Geodudes. So we'll see what happens. There's gonna be some other Pokemon here with a 1600 drowsy power. Oh my god. Three encounters. Alright, let's see it. It's gonna be the Mankey. You know what? I can triple up on the Mankey. Why not? I have been working on the Primeape. Haven't been lucky yet, so maybe today is today. I don't know about you, but I can barely hear the music. Hope I'm not messing anything up here by tuning it up a little bit. All right, three Mankey. Let's see it. I guess you could potentially use a front incense too if you really, really wanted to, but I guess overall the front incense is just a lot more valuable than whatever else. All right, so I don't think I have a premium here. No, that was used in the day 14 video because we are doing the shenanigans here. So I'm gonna get at least two of these, I think. I'm just gonna feed them. It would be really cool to have a Primeape at Greengrass, even though it's somewhat subpar. You still get a lot of Primeape candy here and there, so it could be worthwhile to an extent. <laughs> All full, that's perfect. I'm gonna go on to the next Mankey here. Give it a great biscuit, hopefully not a crit. I want to save the crits for when it's useful. And then we'll see what happens with this other Mankey. Is it gonna get full again too? Or is it gonna be all cranky like a Mankey? If this one is good, I'm gonna call it cranky because of its uh, brother here in the corner. That was not too happy with me. So got one bar. Is it still gonna be hungry though after the second biscuit? Let's see it. All full. That's awful. Okay. At the very least, we got a single Pokemon to review here, and next time I can either Poke Biscuit it if it is hungry, or I can just wait around until it is hungry. So, there's the Mankey. I was hoping for the Pichu, but then I found my Pichu, and then I was hoping for Geodudes, and it was a dosing session. And now that we are out of the event, uh, there won't be any impacts of the uh, the balanced sleep type. So, got very few dream shards, very few experience, but I got the daily experience, thankfully. And we have a Mankey here. Sassy nature, I don't remember what nature that is. That could be speed up, but I'm not too sure. Not very finding, at least not in the second slot. And here you can see I got 550 Mankey candy. And obviously here you got the level 20. I have been trying to get the Primeape, but haven't been successful so far. All right, let's see it. Not a gold skill in the second one. Helping bonus, not too bad. Skill trigger, helping speed, ingredient finding, but not the best nature. So I am gonna wait around until I find the berry finding. I think overall that could be good, especially for the Suicune and Entei events. I don't really want to reset for the berry soul that much, so if I can find a primate for that fighting type berry, 
that could be interesting. Uh, obviously for Lakeside at least, Meganium is going to be it for the most part, but yeah. It's a lot to balance in this game, and um, I'm going to collect that daily item here too. Just like that. And we are going back to Snowdrop. So overall, this week I can talk a little bit about my targets. It is going to be Snover, and potentially also Absol. I don't expect to get a good Delibird anytime soon, so I'll just have to put it up in the corner of the thumbnail as well, but I don't expect it. If I somehow, and that's the area bonus, that was the whole Sunday shenanigans, it worked so nice. But yeah, if I somehow can just find a good Snover, I'm gonna be perfectly fine. And then I don't have a good source of Cacao yet. I could consider using one of the Absol short term, but for the most part, I'm just looking to find. All right, I thought I was gonna get F, so I'll take it. All right, yeah, if I somehow can just find a decent Absol and a great, or rather a decent Snover and a great Absol, that would be pretty cool. So I am gonna go back to Snowdrop here to go for the hunts here. And I'm a little bit unsure what kind of strategy I should put on this week. If it is Desserts or Curries, I'm probably just gonna see if I can cook all the remaining <laughs> salads. Oh, that's funny. Well, maybe I can start using my Doug Trio already then, because I have the Tyranitar really strong on Snowdrop. And then I have my Doug Trio. Yes, and the good cam ticket wore off. So, we're gonna collect from all these Pokemon <laughs> with a very low values. Oh, that's funny. So yeah, my Butterfree here has got the main skill level 5, which is pretty strong. I have the Eevee over here. Then there should be a fifth. The Togepi should be around here somewhere too. And that should definitely pop. Let's see. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> skill Specialist. Extra tasty again. Whoa, that was a lot of ingredients coming from the Butterfree. Alright, so I'm thinking I should probably take a look at the community research. Into the Tuesday, you won't re really be getting a lot of mains left, so <laughs> we have a little bit of time still to utilize the exchange, but for the most part, it seems that the event is over and I got four Raikou main. So if someone can just send me two more mains, I can get another Raikou candy, but for the most part, the event is done for, and the preparation for the end type this weekend event is on. I'm hopefully going to be working a little bit more on my curries and my desserts going forward. Obviously, I'm here now at Snowdrop to look for the Snover, uh, for the eggs, and potentially a good Absol as well, because I don't really have a good source for the cacao. And then, yeah, in terms of salads, I have the Spore Mushroom Salad at level 50. This week I'll probably work a lot on this dish just because my ninja salad is already max level. And I mean, for the drowsy, I could probably just go for the ninja salad. I could run Tyranitar, uh, Doug Trio, and Gengar. And then across those, I should potentially also be able to do some mushroom salads. And I could slap on the ditto as well because Ditto is really good at Snowdrop and for the salads. But yeah, it's gonna be an interesting one. I almost wonder if I should just do a lackluster week here and do some big cooking every now and then. Because I am looking to gain that sleep experience and they are gonna hold back the team quite a bit. I have 500 ingredients. Yeah, at the very least, I am going to switch out the Butterfree here for the Tyranitar. The Tyranitar can stay energized more or less all day every day, and so that is going to be good. Maybe what I'll do here is I'll put on a busted team just for Snowdrop, and then I'll go back to these uh, level up Pokemon afterwards. So what I actually should have done here was to prepare one of these already. So I had the double Pichu, and then I had the Umbreon Eevee. That one's thankfully easy to find again. I shouldn't have just uh, swapped that out. 
Let's see here. Got the Eevee somewhere in the bag. Way back. There we go. Okay, so this is going to be my main team this week. And then I guess I'm just going to piece together some sort of salad combo here. Uh, there we go. And then, so we got Tarantar for the uh, ginger and the beans. Then we have mushrooms on the Gengar. And we have some leeks on the Ditto. But I'm also going to put on the Dug Trio. Just because that was a busted Pokemon that I found just yesterday. And I was so surprised by it. I'm guessing that one of the uh, weekly missions is to get a lot of candy spend. So I am going to just pop this right here. And then we boost it all the way to level 30. The god tier Doug Trio. <laughs> Use 262 candies. Alright. And then I am thinking I should potentially just wait around with the additional 108 candies. Just in accordance to that lockstep uh, investment video that I put together. But then again, I could be getting some decent value out of that extra speed. Three levels, it's gonna be like 14 seconds. Not gonna make a big difference, so I'd much rather just hold on to the candies for now. And then, um, yeah, I'm gonna use this team. And then when I want to sleep, I can just change back here. So the Tarantar is gonna live at 150 as it always does. It's going to produce a lot of those ingredients for the uh, salad. And then because I am running the Sylveon, then hopefully I won't be in need to actually rest with this team. One strategy here could potentially be to run double healers and then not sleep. Because this overall will definitely cover my ingredient needs. Overall, I think Dugtrio is way stronger than Ditto. Let's see. We have the Dugtrio. We can go into the comparison here just for the detailed uh, analysis here. And then I also wanted to peek a look at my Bellsprout again and my Dugtrio so we can do both of those at the same time. Yeah, Dugtrio has a fairly lower ingredient rate, but it is much faster. And my particular Doug Trio has the two ingredient finders in the two spots and the nature. So that's going to be really strong. This one's almost up like <laughs> the level or percentage wise around 30, maybe 35%. That should be crazy on the leaks. And then, yeah, once that hits level 50, it's going to be busted fast as well. Okay, so what I wanted to compare here was the Victory Bell to the Doug Trio, just because I found a really good Diglett way, way, way back. But as you can see, I think actually the Bellsprout wins out by quite a bit. Let's have a look at those actually, because I'm super curious. I need a Tomato Farmer like dedicated long-term level 60 but I'm just not too sure yet. So if I go by date registered, at the very least I should be finding the the Bellsprout here. Triple Tomato, Ingredient Finder S, Speed of Help Up. And so for the most part, this one just needs a sub-skill seed and it should be pretty strong. Potentially it's fine as is without the seed. We can put the Victory Bell here as well. I know to an extent this video is a little bit rambly, but it, it is a little bit hard to really figure out some of these Pokemon. Like you have to think a bit and then look back and forth and then you have to revisit over time and see if there was something that you missed or someone in the comments maybe. So speed of help up, that's going to help quite a bit because Victory Bell is decently fast, but not the fastest. And then because of that berry finding, that inventory coming up at level 50 is going to be huge as well. So I think this may just be my long-term tomato. Because the other thing that I don't really know what to do about is I already have a victory bell and I don't know how I feel about it. I have a shiny bell sprout that's decent. It's double tomato, but it's speed to help down on the nature. So that kind of ruins it to an extent. 
this one's not good. I think this one going just straight in the bin, honestly. Skill level up M, not needed. Skill trigger S, not needed. Ingredient finding a helping speed and the nature is good, but it's just coming in way late. And compared to the other battle sprout I have already, that one's just not going to cut it. Then we're going to have a look at this one. Same ingredient pattern. Ingredient finding down, definitely in the bin. Also the unfavored uh, ingredient list. So if you want to go for the bell sprout, you either want double potato for sure, or just the triple tomato. So with the berry finding here, I think this is going to be so strong, particularly at the Lapis Lake side. Ingredient finding, speed of help. Yeah, this bell sprout is just it overall. Yeah, this one's shiny, not gonna release that one. But yeah, so you can see the pattern here is like a mixed pattern. It's got an awkward nature. It's ingredient finding up, speed of help down. And it does have some better sub skills coming in later, but I don't think I'll be using this victory bell too much. And as you can see, I am doing the overcharge strategy here with a victory bell. Essentially, I run it until the um, energy recovery here pops and then I switch it out and by then I should have a decent amount of tomatoes. The only thing I'm thinking about here is I don't really need all that many tomatoes. So to an extent, I think I'm just gonna have this bell sprout in the bag and then at the point where this other victory bell and my other Pokemon with a tomato in the first ingredient slot, when they don't do enough, I think potentially I can uh, fuel this one up to level 30 because as you can see, as I'm getting higher rank and more and more dream shards and all that stuff, you can see overall the spend here to get this to level 30 is not particularly crazy. So 40 candies left, and that means that if I get another 80 candies, then I can get this all the way up to 30 in one go, and I'll have a pretty busted uh, victory bell. So I think actually that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to wait around here to... That was 80 candies more approximately. So when I hit around 500 bell sprout candies, I'm going all in. And I think as more people move into Lapis Lakeside and start hunting there for all the Pokemon, I think potentially I could be getting some more um, bell sprout candy. Let's see, Cerebi. Just double check the areas here. I haven't made a resource on that uh, for myself yet. Let's see, we got Lapis Lakeside. Ooh, we can actually find Bellsprout at the Snowdrop Tundra. So maybe I'll just find that candy on my own and at La Lapis Lakeside. So I think to an extent, I won't really have to think much about the friend list for this one. 80 candies is not that far off. Uh, it drops. 3 candy, 5 candy, and 7 candy, 8 candy. That's pretty good. What about the Weepin' Bell? Can I find this one as well? 4, 5, 7, and 8. And then we already know I have the perfect... Well, I'm not going to catch any of these, so yeah. <laughs> and then the Victory Bell is 6, 7, 9, and 10. You know what? I think by just camping out at Snowdrop and Lapis Lakeside going forward, I'll be hitting that level 30 before I know it. And if anything, I can just run double victory bell. This one's not bad, but I definitely won't put any more resources into it. So, I want to have a look at the Diglett as well. I found a really, really good Diglett for tomatoes, but the Diglett overall is so good for leeks that it would be a shame to waste the resources on this one. And also now that we compared a victory bell with uh, Doug Trio. Overall, I think for tomatoes, you want the Victory Bell over the Doug Trio overall. So, yeah, you can see this one. It's got Ingredient Finder M, Ingredient Finder S, and the Ingredient Finding Up Nature. So, that is super strong. Can definitely consider boosting it to level 30 at some point, but I think for now it's going to sit in my bag and potentially in the future uh, we'll just see what happens. So I think that was it for this video. Hope you enjoyed the episode here. A bit more rambly than usual, but overall just trying to figure out some of these Pokemon. 
and I do think I <clears throat> managed to do some decent progression here on the Bellsprout and also clarified the difference between Doug Trio and Victory Bell in terms of the tomato harvest. And so I'll be aiming for 500 candies on the Bellsprout and at that point I will switch Victory Bells, especially with that berry finding. So talk to you in another video and s yeah, slap like.